be scared of the night Always wanting the fright of your life Oh baby, can't you see the monster screamed in your dreams? While you're scared of sleep at night Oh, to tell you that remember of your life Yo, baby, it's just your feet The monster may have Hey guys, girls and girls, it's your boy here, Razor from Razor's Twisted Exploring. We're sort of in the Fulkerholm uh, area of Lincolnshire today and we're going checking out an RAF, well, a former RAF airfield. And there is a bit of a surprise, so we'll wait and see. Anyway, come with us on this explore. So we've come across this, guys. Firearms use on this site at all times <laughs> we're still going for it so we're a little further up from coming in we have things way out there in distance as well Because obviously this was an active um, site, maybe back in days. Do you know if they're still sort of using it from time to time? Um, it's probably not a good idea to start going across all these grass fields and such. We've got loads of vehicles all going up the runway of this old former RAF airfield and I will look into the information and add it into the description as I always do guys there's some cranes on there from what I'm seeing tractors this is going to be a cool one so we're coming across this first huge runway here We've got this sort of lookout table. This is amazing. See? I'm literally just in the middle of nowhere. Some of the tracks. Maybe for tanks going off the sides of this track. Or tractors. Wonder if there is any tanks on here. That would be so amazing to see. We have quite the uh, selection of the buckets for the tractors. Crazy. There's so, so much, guys. But we'll come off to this part. And work down, we can see some sort of trailers way down there. What I'm going to do is go round here, then back here. Wow, <laughs> we've found a, an old military truck. <laughs> a little pheasant running off. <laughs> what else? 
that's insane. I think the last time we saw a military truck was at a, a tractor and a crane graveyard, just out in the middle of nowhere, just like these. Never gonna see a tractor crane graveyard as huge as this, guys. This is probably the biggest they've done in consideration. I think there's only been about going off like tractors and uh, cranes. I think there's only been two places, two, three. but definitely the biggest I've come across. Look at this one with the bucket on the front here. Wow. <laughs> Crazy sized tires on that. That's something like you'd see or use in some sort of zombie apocalypse, you know. I am literally lost for words. Little uh, trailer here. These must have been standing here, left here for years, going up all this rust on them. And they care. For them, buried in the hedge, pretty much. Almost like a, a little mini tank, that. Obviously, it's a tractor. It's just sad to see all these. I mean, these. These must cost tens of thousands of pounds, and probably some of them, you know, really old types for collectors, hundreds of thousands. And they're just left here, which is really sad. Went back to this uh, crane graveyard, and literally, the, the guy that was clearing out all the cranes. Um, ended up starting up one of the cranes, but sadly, it's coming to the scrap. And it's all always such a shame when that happens. It's like, you know, the crane was absolutely working. You could put it back to use. But instead, I'd rather go scrap it in for a, a bit of cash. Ah, we got one of those uh, huge rollers. Look at all these, they're, they're, they're just like frames. We'll, we'll have a look at them in a, in a second. Oh, we've got quite an old looking tractor back here a caterpillar you know when that was stated do let us know in the comments 
see I'm not always that uh, good when it comes to knowledge of tractors and stuff. So I always like hearing if you guys know any of these things and it educates me. It almost looked like these could have been something to do with horse and carts. Correct me if I'm wrong. Obviously, uh, that's uh, it's going through wheat fields, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely boiling today. Uh, literally to get to this spot where I am I've walked about three mile uh, an hour seven minutes here so I've still got about an hour seven minutes back then I've still got to get the train back so guys I go out of the, the way to bring you this content I go a long long way so I massively appreciate it if you hit that like button uh, leave a comment in the comment section as well um, it's always nice to hear like feedback it's always nice to hear well how you are, uh, what you're up to on the weekend. It could be absolutely anything. Um, it's just nice to interact with you all. Wow. That's, that's very tank-like, isn't it? Look at that. What even is it? Because, I mean, it's got wheels. But the shape of it, it almost looks boat like but tank-like at the same time. That's crazy. Let's uh, give you a look up here. As I know you'd be dying to uh, see what's up here. You've got some like tires at the back, almost like a, a trailer of some sort. Never seen something like that before. Unless it's just a custom made sort of truck. Just absolutely loads of tractors as we're coming around here. Another caterpillar. So like I said, we ain't even done yet. As this is just the circle bit, but there is the absolute all the other land, well, airfield. A caterpillar. I think it's a grill, isn't it? Now, let's take you around here 
and then bring you up this huge airstrip. Obviously, we've got a huge woodland just back there. Apparently, a burial ground. Not too sure. I have to have seen assume uh, uh, a sign. Uh, basically, I think there's some knocked over trees and, well, I think they're planning on making them into timber. So it's like so much have been buried there, you're just becoming a plank. <laughs> I absolutely love places like this, just among nature, in the middle of nowhere. Deluxe. So obviously they used to do like mattresses and stuff. But yeah, we've got a lot of sort of containers here, trailers. As we're going down. Not gonna bother opening them up or anything to see what's in wow <laughs> quite a variety of uh, size tires and some very huge ones as you can see here they're just the thickness as well some of these but then it cuts all the way down to like even the thin ones like this. Ow. So we're coming up to like Crane Galore now. We've had a bit of the tractors. We might still have some tractors. But we've got some cranes to go with it. It's quite a unique looking device. what that was used for almost looks like you know the thing that turns over the soil ready to plant the seeds seems like we have a few there I will bring it down to these few tractors and then come back up, rejoin here, seeing something that absolutely impressed me. We might be onto something, no, nope. quiet. Yeah, so. I'm going to zoom in from here, just uh show you guys these last ones on that. Because we definitely just want to get straight up here. I'll show you the rest of the stuff. It it really got my mind for a minute, and then just just uh, keep this rusting and, and how the wheels were. Right, so obviously it was a digger, but <laughs> I've looked at this and I generally thought we had a tank. So gutted. I mean, the the. Not very much different, like shape wise, you know, the rollers at the bottom here. Very tank like, but not quite. Stamford crane here. <coughs> I'm wondering, do we go? We're gonna have to go like this across. So we don't have much there, there's a few diggers. We've got a couple more. <laughs> we'll have to go back and forth a little bit. 
as they're coming across. I'll show you the different sides, I guess. Wow, look at that one. Almost looks like a, a box in a box on the top of that. <laughs> Crazy. This was for almost like a ramp to some sort. Across here. More and more tractors. Again, another sort of zombie apocalypse looking one. And we'll let begin <laughs> because. That is a, that'd be a fun day for sure, wouldn't it? I mean, not a fun time if zombies went into to eat your brains and stuff, but fun time to just, well, you get the motor. <laughs> I think I watch too many sort of zombie horror movies. <laughs> Maybe. Another roll of hair. Very old looking one. You're not going to stay with that barn as well. <laughs> Absolutely massive that is. Even that shovel to the front of it. You get quite a few, you know, you get quite a few with that. It's a red shovel, sort of beautifully wondering, positioning them. Bait. Somebody's made a, a tire swing <laughs> on a little dinky crane. I guess if these ones definitely must they done with the military. Very bulky sort of crane, isn't it? I mean, look at the size of tyres on that. Definitely, I would have had to pick something huge up. We've got a number of engines all scattered around there. Got a truck. Almost like a truck that I, I had as a toy as a kid. Like huge sort of metal truck sort of thing. And it was exactly like this one. <laughs> Wondering if the front's the same thing on it. I mean if I could find a picture of 
like a toy version of it. It definitely is. It really is. The toy come to life. <laughs> and the same colour as well. That's sort of yellow. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, I was very big on my tractors, my race cars. Uh, trains, as a kid. And I was there, had a toy, one of them. If you guys can tell me they make a model of it, I'd be much appreciated. <laughs> Over there. Trailers. Yeah. Seen some more oh, tractors there. Pallets. It's like a crane thing here. What's this? Contraption. Very interesting looking at it. Very interesting. Here. As you can see loads of other diggers that side and this side. Some trailers. Wow, look at that. It actually says Royal Navy on as well. A little scrubbed out. You can make it out. Just a bounce. It's great to see some some of the Royal Navy still still here. Wow, is that an oil tanker to back there? We'll come around to check this out. This is quite an incredible little find. Would it have been an oil tanker or carrying some water? So we can make out this label here. If you can. I'm not too sure if we can. But yeah, that's that's pretty incredible. Probably first sort of kind of tankers that I've seen.
little fork left here. Really is quite a variety. These, these ones especially look very military-like tractors. So there's like a variety between like the farm sort of vehicles and the Royal Navy military sort of vehicles. Like even this. Got another little trailer here. Royal Navy. <coughs> another sort of truck here. Rather look at this truck. It's got all this on the back here. I wonder what it would have been. It's been winch clutch. Just trying to. Well, obviously, there's like a, a bit of a crane on the back there. Another sort of toy that I'd had as a kid as well. One of these. <laughs> it's like reliving childhood memory. It's toys now, real life. Cool. Wow, what's these? Okay, yeah. It's like which side do I choose sometimes? Coming up this S air run. Coming up this airfield. Yeah, just coming up this airfield, seeing. Stuff on this side, stuff on that side, and it's like, <laughs> which side do I check out? Well, I'm trying to show you pretty much everything I possibly can.
think we'll come over here. It's just full. Trailer there. And it gives you yeah, a sort of ambulance vibes that, doesn't it? So coming well away from the cranes, the tractor's graveyard, I did notice this on the actual site, and it did strike me. It does look like some of it's been knocked down. But I'm actually wondering if this could have actually been a bunker. I mean, you can see how thickness of them walls are there. But this is what struck me. Or could it have been a building? Could it have been a watchtower? Anyways, I had to come to just investigate it, nevertheless. But there definitely must have been something here. As we can see the, the foundations of something. So coming away from the uh, little bunker sort of thing we, we, we was looking at, Come over here, you can notice almost like a, an old track going through here. So make these uh, sort of lines out on each side, just so they seem like the concrete of this. I mean, it could have been anything, it could have been a track, it could have been. A road platform. We have more of it back here. With the uh, structure. Fascinating. So we're just on the other side now. As so it's like two separate paths. I'm going to see what's on this side of it. Down here, seems like a, another bit here. Nice. My suspicions was true by the looks of this. They look like forms of chimneys. So they definitely must. That they would have been at like a top part. I'm guessing somewhere buried here is a bunker. I'm gonna come through here. Seems like a, a bit of a trail. Like almost somebody's walked through here before now seen something at the top here guys I think it's top of the wall wow so yeah we're pretty much just on the top here and 
See how thick these blocks are. It's definitely not for your average building. Surely not. But again. Oh. Have a, a little look. Give you an overhead view here. <coughs> Obviously. There's this other compartment there. So we've come away from the bunker down there. We've come down here. Uh, so we've spotted something else. We was actually on our way out. But we have to go check this out. It stood out so well. From the looks of it, it looked like gravestones. But we'll make it out. How interesting looking is this? I mean, especially when you see these sort of stones from that distance. I wonder what these would have held. Because it almost looks like it. There. I wonder this could have been somewhere where they had the missiles on. Because it definitely is giving that vibe. As we can see, looking down there, and I'm guessing there probably would have been more. Not huge missiles. So we've got this here. I'm wondering if that was the only one. Because these look nothing like that. Interesting. So, what an absolute amazing uh, explorer uh, this one's been. Uh, Absolutely lots of diggers, tractors, cranes down there. And what we assume maybe could have been either watch out tower, the airstrip, um, or a bunker on this former RAF base. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming along with us. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe for more content. And we'll catch you on the next. Peace out.